एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिसेस राजकुमारी चौहान आई टीच इन अंजुमन इस्लाम ए खटखटे इंग्लिश सेकेंडरी स्कूल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू ए टॉपिक ऑफ हिस्ट्री चैप्टर सिक्स एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ वेमेन एंड अदर वीकर सेक्शंस इफ वी हैव सीन वेमेन हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड एक्सटेंसिवली इन द फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल women have also made important contribution in all fields in the post independence period that is what we will be studying in this chapter and also certain laws enacted for women and other weaker section so before we will see all this aspects let us see a graphical structure you can see here a graphical structure of sex ratio that is female ratio out of 1000 males so if you see it is about 2005 and 6 and 2015 and 16 census data uh, so the overall data of india if you see it was around 914 till 919 in 2015 and 16 so there was not much of increase in the female population if you see and same way if you see the state wise like haryana we don't find much increase it is around 836 out of 1000 males same way of maharashtra we see 924 uh, which is out of again 1000 males uh, same way if you see punjab 734 to 860 again that is also very less compared to 1000 males and then in rajasthan which we see 847 to 887 out of 1000 males so if you see state wise also overall also there is not much increase in female population we will see the reason behind that this shows imbalance uh, of sex ratio in our country and it also oh, you can say made us analyze that there is certain problems overall where we find less female population that we'll see so let us see there are certain movement which was uh, you can say continued because of women power so first thing very important when we study the condition of women in india we realize that the roots of many problems that we face lie in the mentality of men even in the 21st century we have not been able to rid ourselves of this male centered mentality so we need to improve ourselves we need to come ahead in this uh, continuous you can say developed society and we will see here certain other movements now if you see vinoba mahabave made use of women power in bhudan movement which he had started placing his faith in mahatma gandhi's philosophy here women volunteers carried the message of bhudan to all parts of india so they requested all the land owners or the person who were on high positions requested them to donate their land to the people who are landless so that was called as bhudan bhu means the land okay to donate their land so this movement was started uh, with the help of the women under the leadership or the guidance of vinoba bhave and again this person was inspired by mahatma gandhi the next what we have seen is the telangana peasants arm struggle here also women played a significant role in the telangana peasants arm struggle which challenged the rule of the nizams and the feudal system as their region became free from bonded labor women also found freedom from this you can say worst kind of uh, torture which was been faced by them so it was again a, you can say strong movement which was carried by them now we'll see here manifestation of women power if we see women 
who have to face the brunt of scarcity of supplies and rising prices gave a show of their strength as an organized entity in 1972 under the leadership of the socialist leader that is mrinal gore you can see the image she was a you can say she was a woman in uh, mumbai participated in a demonstration which came to be known as latne morcha Lat, latne the rolling pin which we used to roll the chapatis so she and many other women who participated with this latne for scarcity they could not find the commodities like oil ghee rava maida which was scarce just as diwali was near at hand at hand kerosene became very expensive women came together to fight for all these things with their rolling pins and demonstrated warned them that they need this things in the shop so this this movement met with success and the public got a glimpse of the united power of women so it was also a very strong uh, you can say movement which was started by this under the leadership of mrinal gore now we'll see the other movement which was started was called as chipko movement so the another show of constructive uh, women power was seen during the chipko movement in 1973 trees from the forest in the foothills of the himalayas were to be cut down for commercial purpose but chandi prasad bhat and sundarlal bahuguna had started a movement to prevent this women followed the strategy of holding hands and encircling each tree you can see here the women have encircled the trees as their method consisted of protecting the tree by embracing it the movement came to be known as chipko movement so they took care of the tree they encircled it and they you can say stop that cutting of trees women took part in in it with large numbers women had a big role to play in the agricultural economy of this region like you can see in the image which i have showed that is gaura devi was the activist Uh, who created awareness among the women with the help of sudesha devi and bachni devi which you can see in this image so this was the movement to save the tree now next we will see here the other uh, you can say the movement which was carried by the women was the anti rack movement let's see what it is anti liquor movement in 1992 in andhra pradesh a movement was started against the drinking of alcohol it received a good response in other states too when the head head of the household dies an untimely death due to the addiction of alcohol the family faces a serious crisis which affects women the most and due to this habit they have to deal with extreme sorrow and poverty so this movement got the support of the anti arak movement in andhra pradesh so all the women they came together to fight against this to stop this addiction and to close down the shops so this was also again a strong movement which we have seen they started oh, saying the sita mata katha to everyone narrated it was a story about sita who created awareness among the people of a village and gets uh, alcohol to be banned from the village so this is how it continued and this movement also played a very important uh, uh, you can say impact and uh, it was very furious so most of the uh, you can say the shops were closed down next we will see international women's year so the united nation had declared 1975 as the international women year the three aspects of this program were peace development and equality between men and women 
In 1975, the government of Indian constitute the Committee on the Status of Women and appointed Dr. Ful Renu Guha as its chairman. A comprehensive survey was conducted of many issues, uh, their status, the consequences, and also regarding giving importance for education for women. Uh, plus, they checked the livelihood, the female male ratio, birth, mortality rates, and the role of women was seen. Uh, there was a lot of Stri Mukti Sangarsh Samiti was formed. If you see here, they, the Samiti published his manifesto in 1978. The policy of a struggle against discrimination on the basis of gender, caste, Varna was adopted. This gave rise to a collection of songs called Stri Mukti Che Lalkari. A street play was also done, Mulgi Jhali Ho by Jyoti Mas. Mapsekar and a periodical called Prerak Lalkari which became their mouthpiece and other such programs was continued. So Stri Mukti Andolan Samiti was established by Saudamini Rao in Pune. So same way many other organization was started in many other states also giving importance for the women's. So this is what we have seen. Uh, then we also have seen women's study centers like Pramila Dandevati established the Mahila Dakshata Samiti in Delhi. In 1976, branches of Samiti came up in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh and so on. So women's study center was started. Uh, the first women's university the Srimati Nathibhai Damodar Thakre, that is called as SNDT, was started. Then Tata Institute of Social Science, Mumbai Savitri Bai Phule, Pune University, and also Shivaji University at Kolapur. The centers played an important role in critical analyzing and in developing a vision on women's issue. So, this is what we have seen here. Uh, then we also have certain laws for women which we will continue in the next part. I will stop here in this part. But uh, laws against women, there are many laws which we will be dealing in the next part. It uh, will be regarding the awareness against the dowry tradition. Then the importance of family courts because of this. Then polygamy. Uh, we will be seeing again how to sue for divorce, the problems the women are facing, childbirth, maternity leave. Uh, also, we will be seeing the um, trial involving alimony, uh, the commission of Sati Pratha which was seen that was banned. Uh, then human rights and reservation for women. All this we will be seeing in the next part. Also, we will learn certain other weaker section about scheduled cars, scheduled tribes, nomadic tribes and all. So, I will continue all that part in the next uh, part of this chapter, uh, which I will be adding to the link. So, here what we have learned till now was, again I will just continue, I will summarize the topic. So, we have seen the continuous decrease in the sex ratio. We also have seen Bhudan movement where they started donating lands to the landless. Then we also have seen Rinal Gore as a chairman how she fighted with Latne Morcha uh, for scarcity of various commodities. Then we also have seen the Chipko movement where they try to save the tree by encircling it. Uh, then we also have seen about anti-liquor movement where the people participated, the women's and they fight it and they closed down the shops. Uh, we also have seen international women here where they participated, they, they took the initiative uh, of many sangatna and fight it for most of the problem areas of women's. Uh, they also started Sri Mukti Che Lalkari, a song, Mulgi Zali Ho, a street play, uh, then periodicals. A prerak lalkari same way and they continued most of the states so all this we have seen we also have seen certain university which was started for women's and played important role for them and then after that law for women which we will be dealing in the next part so that's all for today 
I hope you understood the topic till here. Uh, go through the textbook. Any problem, you can always come to me. You can have a question tag over here with the link. So, thank you so much for listening patiently to me. Thank you, students. Have a good day.